So PRP is platelet-rich plasma. It's, it's called uh, ovarian rejuvenation. Even though we're not making the ovaries young, it's actually helping a lot of women who have very low ovarian reserve or in premature ovarian insufficiency or even in early menopause to get pregnant using their own eggs. PRP or platelet-rich plasma, it comes from the, from the patient's own blood. We take blood from the arm, then we extract the PRP in the lab, then we take this PRP and we go vaginally by an ultrasound and we inject the PRP inside the ovaries. Now PRP is becoming extremely popular because more and more data and, and medical journals have been recently shown both in humans and in animals that PRP injection inside the ovaries can restore ovarian function after menopause or in cases of, of premature ovarian insufficiency. Now, um, candidates for women for PRP is women who have early menopause, uh, premature ovarian insufficiency, poor egg quality, or even women who have poor embryo quality. The reason why PRP works is because the, it contains a lot of chemicals such as growth factors and other chemicals that are, there's, we concentrate them and then when we put them directly inside the ovaries, they're doing three things. One, they're stimulating the dormant eggs to wake up and grow so we can collect them. Two, it's improving the environment where the eggs are inside the ovaries so potentially can produce healthier follicles and potentially healthier eggs. And three, there are some studies showing that PRP induces the ovaries to make younger eggs from their own stem cells. So ovaries have stem cells, they're called ovarian stem cells, and stem cells are cells that do not have a function yet. And once you activate them, they get a function based on where they belong. For example, if this stem cell in the liver and you activate that cell, it becomes a liver cell. Similarly, for, uh, um, if you inject inside the ovaries, uh, the PRP, the stem cells there turn into younger eggs. I'm going to give another example. PRP is used for um, hair loss in both women and men. And because the scalp has stem cells, you inject the PRP in the scalp, and those stem cells can turn into hair follicles. And this is how researchers found out that, okay, well, let me try the PRP in the ovaries, it might grow new ovarian follicles, and actually it was, it was true. Now, PRP does not work for everybody. It might or might not work for you. We do not know, there is no like list of criteria that tells us if a patient is a good candidate or not. Unfortunately, until a patient tries it and then see if it's working, this is how we know if it worked. So that's, that's uh, you know, the, the downside of it. Now, it, I get asked a lot is how many times I should do PRP. For now, we're doing PRP injection once every three months. It's good for three months. Some people are repeating it every three months. Some people are just doing once and that's it. Um, and also, I get asked a lot how long it takes for the PRP to start working. And it varies from person to person. It might take two weeks up to eight weeks before you see any benefit from the PRP. Again, that's this, a small summary of what PRP is. If you have any questions, you're more, more than welcome to contact me and I'm more than happy to answer any questions you have. Bye-bye.